Well, the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal just happened in Los Angeles, and as someone who's grown up with Mortal Kombat and has had some pretty close ties to the series, this looks like a really exciting entry. This game looks to be a direct continuation of Mortal Kombat 10 where Shinnok has been defeated, Raiden's turned evil, and has all sorts of weird superpowers. They revealed only so much at the presentation, showing off seven fighters, a mixture of both old and new. And among one of their surprise announcements was that Ronda Rousey was playing the role of Sonya Blade in this one, although I do have my personal favorite preference when it comes to Sonya. Since Warner Brothers acquired Midway and allowed the Chicago studio to thrive on as Netherrealm, I really feel like they've gotten the Mortal Kombat series back on track. Like most fans, I hold Mortal Kombat 1 through 3 near and dear to my heart. Although I'm not a big fan of Mortal Kombat 4 through 7, I did like Mortal Kombat vs. DC. They had some neutered fatalities, sure, but I felt like they got the gameplay back on track. But since Mortal Kombat 9, or just simply Mortal Kombat 2011, they have done some incredible things with the series, and they have only gotten better with each installment. The gameplay looks solid, and the graphics look gory and detailed, and as over the top as they progressively get each installment with fatalities, man, those x-ray moves, those special moves that you do within the actual combat rounds, oh my god, some of those things make me cringe. They're so awful and detailed looking. They really go all out to make sure that every hit looks like it hurts. All in all, it looked like a great fan event. I'm really excited to check out Mortal Kombat when it comes out this April. That collector's edition looks really nice and really tempting. Hopefully Warner Brothers won't charge too much for it because I kind of want that scorpion mask. That thing's pretty cool. My only concern for the special edition is that it doesn't look like it's coming to the Switch. I have a PlayStation 4 as well, and I might get it for that, but... I kind of wanted to pick up an on-the-go gameplay that the Switch provides, and if they're not going to release a collector's edition for Switch, I think that's kind of a bummer, especially after all the years that Nintendo systems have not had a Mortal Kombat on them. You bring them back and this is... Come on guys, put out the special edition. From now until April, I'm sure that they'll reveal the rest of the Mortal Kombat fighting cast. There's been no word yet if there are going to be any horror-themed guest stars. I don't know anything, but if I were to place a wager on it, I would bet Michael Myers from Halloween might actually grace this one, considering that he hasn't made an appearance as of yet, and Halloween 2018 is awesome, so here's hoping for that. But considering how crazy Mortal Kombat has been in terms of guest stars over the last few years, all bets are kind of off the table at this point. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have to wait that long. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with the new Mortal Kombat. I have a feeling that it's going to be even gorier. I can't wait to dive back into the story mode, do some online gameplay. I'm hyped, so good job, guys. I will be there come April. If you have any comments, insights, or little hidden details that you picked up along the way and all the video footage, definitely share them with me. I'd like to sit there and discuss with you guys, so let's do this. Till next time, take care.